The Honourable uh, Ministers, Minister of Justice, who is our guest of honour, the Minister of Interior, uh, Excellency Ambassador of Japan, SG Rwanda Investigations Bureau, CEO of our big uh, National Cyber Security Agency, distinguished guests, I'm greatly honored to welcome you today as we gather here for the inauguration of this Regional Cyber Crime Investigation Center of Excellence. Let me first of all thank both ministers, Justice and Interior, and Ambassador of Japan for sparing their time to officiate the launch of this center. Allow me to also extend my warm welcome to Professor Jugen Stock for traveling all the way from Lyon, France, through Luanda, Angora, and Addis, Ethiopia, to come and join us today. This inauguration marks a turning point in our collective efforts to effectively deal with cybercrime. The Eastern African Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization, IAPCO, agreed and decided to establish this center in Rwanda with a view to facilitating and coordinating law enforcement response to cyber crime activities in the region. Its establishment was long overdue as we needed to make law enforcement action fit for today's crime landscape reality. The center will undoubtedly serve as a platform for information sharing and capacity building among police forces and their investigative arms across the Eastern African region. And more importantly, it will enhance our collective ability to effectively investigate cyber crimes. Law enforcement agencies in Rwanda will use it to actively engage with our partners, especially the Interpol, to share best practices and collaborate on joint investigations. Its effective use will help to find joint solutions to the most complex cyber crime challenges now and in the future. I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank our partners who tremendously contributed to the achievement of this great step. I'm sure the guest of honor will do it, but allow me to also recognize the Republic of Japan, which has sponsored the construction and equipping of this center. Thank you, Ambassador. We also thank the Interpol General Secretariat for its unwavering commitment to international law enforcement cooperation that has been a source of inspiration and support for nations around the world. SG Jugenstock, thank you for being a good partner to Rwanda's law enforcement agencies. It is important to recall that even at the very beginning, you, Jogan Stock, were here present with us to lay the foundation stone for the establishment of this facility. You are here again with us for its inauguration. We do not take it for granted. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stock, as you come to the end of your term in office. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Let me also express my appreciation to IAPCO members for entrusting Rwanda with the noble responsibility to host this high-tech regional center. And most importantly, I thank our government, our leadership, our president for the support and guidance to Rwanda law enforcement agencies 
as we strive to create a safer environment for our people, Rwanda National Police and Rwanda Investigations Bureau are truly honored to host such an important center of excellence. We'll continue working with Interpol and like-minded partners to enhance regional and international cooperation against cyber crime. I thank you very much. Honorable Minister of Justice, Honorable Minister of the Interior, Your Excellency Ambassador of Japan to Rwanda, Inspector General of the Police of Rwanda, Secretary General Rwanda Investigative Bureau, RIP, CEO of the National Cyber Security Agency. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. It is a privilege to be in Rwanda again, and I really feel like coming back home again. Just a few years ago, Interpol had the honor to hold its General Assembly and African Regional Conference in this beautiful land of a thousand hills that is blessed with extraordinary biodiversity and a warm and friendly population committed to the idea of growth and progress. Today, we are gathered here for the inauguration of the Regional Cybercrime Investigation Center of Excellent, an event that is once again organized with elegance and sophistication. Today's celebration is about recognizing our regional and global efforts to strengthen our capacity to address cybercrime. Your Excellency, I would like to thank Rwanda for having invited me to lay the foundation stone of the Regional Cybercrime Investigation Center back in 2016 and for granting me the opportunity to participate in its inauguration today. It is a privilege to witness the development of this well-needed project at a pivotal time for Africa and the rest of the world. Over the past years, we have seen the economy in Africa blossom and create opportunities for innovation at the heart of a global competitive market taken over by technology. We have also witnessed virtual space becoming the most revolutionary invention to have impacted changes in the contemporary world. It has unthinkably shortened geographical distances, broken barriers between people, erased national borders and destroyed all previously conceived hindrance to communication. That is positive. In 2022, Statista reported that 570 million people had access to the Internet in Africa, a number that has more than doubled since 2015. While the world is getting more and more connected, criminal networks have also exploited the speed convenience and anonymity of the internet to commit a diverse range of criminal activities. Cyber criminals can now attack from anywhere in the world to any destination, putting at risk governments, businesses and consumers and creating ways for cyber extortion, ransomware and actual physical security threats. We saw this during the COVID-19 pandemic when criminals were confined in their homes, resorting to the internet to exploit the vulnerabilities of the pandemic and continue their criminal activities online. Today, metaverse like platforms also present new means to prey on children for sexual assault, cybercrime, fraud, money laundering, or even terrorism related offenses. And criminals are also relying on AI, artificial intelligence, for large-scale extortion, the production of more sophisticated spam phishing mails and text, fake or cloned identities, or the development of the next generation of ransomware attacks. It is a kind of parallel pandemic of cyber-enabled threats targeting our societies and our vulnerabilities. And it's getting worse. Responding effectively to these challenges requires constantly adapting investigative procedures, ensuring that cyber investigators have the right skills 
for this environment and staying ahead of trends. This also means implementing preventive measures as well as having the appropriate digital forensic equipment and expertise to support investigations. The creation of the Regional Cybercrime Investigation Center for Excellence was therefore a necessity and a testament of EAPCO's and Rwanda's commitment to adapting the changes in the criminal landscape. Your Excellency, Ambassador of Japan, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize the government of Japan for their generous support to this very important and timely initiative. Once more, Japan demonstrates its support for global and regional security. I'm pleased that the law enforcement community in Eastern Africa is now proud to have a world-class center seeking to build capacity and police cooperation with the ultimate goal of providing the EPCO membership with the ability to confront the increasingly innovative and sophisticated aspects of cybercrime. In celebrating this achievement, we must also remember the importance of streamlining our efforts to our shared objectives at all levels. With member countries directly at the regional level through the vital work done by EAPCO, at the Pan-African level with the African Union, and finally at a global level with Interpol, our global police family where Rwanda is not only part of but is a leader in our organization. <laughs> this is the only way to ensure that international criminals do not exploit gaps in fragmented investigations, information sharing and police skills. We saw this just last month when Interpol and Afripol worked together to coordinate an operation across 25 African countries that enabled investigators to arrest 14 suspected criminals and identify almost 21,000 suspicious networks highlighting the surge in digital insecurity and cyber threat in the region. In Kenya alone, this operation, codenamed Africa Cyber Search 2, enabled authorities to take down over 600 malware hosters. Interpol is committed to working in partnership with the Regional Cybercrime Center of Excellence to design a plan that will enhance our common objective of building a robust cyber response capacity in the region and beyond and avoid duplication in our operational work. The common goal is to work towards a safer Africa and a safer world. Just yesterday we concluded, as it was already mentioned, the 26th Interpol African Regional Conference in Luanda in Angola, where I reiterated that supporting Africa and curbing cybercrime is one of the key priorities of Interpol. This role will continue to be discharged through Interpol's relationship with the African regional police bodies such as EAPCO and our regional bureaus in Africa and our strong partner Rwanda. I thank you very much, <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and finally, Mura Kose Kiane. Thank you. Honorable ministers, ministers uh, of Justice and Minister of Interior, um, Mr. Secretary General of Interpol, uh, Mr. Inspector General of Police, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my great uh, honor and great pleasure to attend this handover and inauguration ceremony of the Regional Cybercrime Investigation Center of Excellence. This important facility, I am, I am very happy to say that, has been built by the government of Rwanda uh, utilizing uh, uh, the counterpart fund deposit under Japan's uh, budget support since 2006 and uh, equipped by Japan's direct grant aid. Uh, the amount, uh, respective amount of the aid uh, is uh, 2.2 million US dollars and uh, 950 
four thousand uh, US dollars, uh, respectively. In 2019, uh, Japan's uh, then Prime Minister Mr. Abe and the President Kagame reaffirmed the importance of joint effort in tackling with the cyber crime activities. And it is my pure delight today to see the, this initiative become a reality here. The establishment of this center uh, aims to enhance law enforcement capabilities in the area of uh, cyber crimes prevention through capacity building such as providing training to uh, officials from East Africa Police Chief, uh, Chiefs Cooperation Organizations member uh, countries. At the 8th Tokyo International Conference on African Development, which we call uh, TICAD 8, held in Tunis last year, leaders of Japan and African countries identified that cybersecurity is one of the global priority areas. In this regard, I sincerely admire the initiative of the government of Rwanda to set up this center in the point that this center will bring considerable benefit, not only to Rwanda, but also to countries in the region. I'd like to extend my genuine appreciation to the support of the International Criminal Policy Organization, uh, Interpol. And uh, with this organization, uh, Japan has been closely working since decades. And uh, I'd like to say our commitment to continue uh, our cooperation. Last, not, last but not least, I'd like to stress here that Japan's guiding principle in the context of economic cooperation is a concept of human security. Japan has led human-centered international cooperation based on the concept of human security, which focused protection and empowerment on the individuals um, that is strategic, um, sorry, uh, and particularly in face of the wide range of complex and interconnected challenges, we recognize that new strategy needed to be incorporated into our traditional concept of human security, that is strategy of solidarity. And by that means, we should aim to create a society where people can live in dignity, free from fear or luck. Cybercrime is apparently threats to human security and dignity. And this is why Japan will keep on spearheading the international efforts in combating cybercrimes. Uh, in concluding my speech, uh, I'd like to reiterate that it is the sincere hope of the government and the people of Japan that this center will contribute not only to peace and security and stability in the region, but also to improving the lives of people both in Rwanda and other Eastern African countries. Thank you for your attention. Colleague, Honorable Minister of Interior, your Excellency Isao Fukushima, Ambassador of Japan in Rwanda, the Secretary General of Interpol, uh, Mr. Eugen Stock, the Inspector General of uh, Rwanda National Police, the Secretary General of the Rwanda Investigation Bureau, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Cyber Security Authority, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the Republic of Rwanda, Allow me from the outset to welcome all of you uh, to this beautiful city of Kigali and the entire Republic of Rwanda.
it is my honor to officially launch the Regional Cyber Crime Center of Excellency, an event that has gathered international high-ranking officials. Your presence to this event underscores global commitment to fight against one of the growing criminal threats around the world. As a part of efforts to address the highlighted concerns, Regional Cyber Crime Center of Excellence has been established here in Kigali in order to enhance capacity building, operational and rapid response to cyber crimes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me to acknowledge and register my sincere appreciation to the government of Japan, whose financial support heavily contributed to this initiative meant to counteract the increasing threats posed by cyber crime and cyber security. Arigato. <laughs> Japan has been a reliable partner throughout, uh, and uh, more specifically when it comes to the implementation of various priorities of the government of Rwanda. This includes, but not limited to the fight against cyber crime while enhancing cyber security. But Japan went even further to fund this center. Allow me to take this opportunity as well to recognize endless efforts by, made by Nippon uh, Electrical Company to bring to reality our wish to have the center established. Your effort to raise funds from the uh, Japanese government for the implementation of this project is well commended. I, I also extend my thought of thanks to the Secretary General of Interpol for having laid a foundation stone for this outstanding regional project and for being with us once again today to renew your commitment to support the regional initiatives. Uh, dear Secretary General, your contribution to continuing advocating for the cause of policing at the highest level, international organization as well as uh, regional bodies is being noticed and felt even across our region. We have, we certainly have no doubt that you will continue supporting this center with your existing in-house expertise uh, to the benefit of the APCO uh, region. Uh, we also do wish to thank uh, the German government through the project managed by, managed by UNODC to have supported the Eastern African uh, Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization, IAPCO, and the implementation of the first activity of the center in particular. Uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, the government of Rwanda underscores the importance of working hand in hand with countries, agencies, and organizations such as I I Interpol, IAPCO, UNODC, that are on the forefront of fighting cyber-related crimes through different means, whether financial and technological aimed at supporting the law enforcement agencies. It is important that this center is in line with a number of adopted uh, initiatives designed to combat cyber crimes, such as the UN General Assembly Resolution 5563, which calls for international cooperation and capacity building efforts uh, to strengthen cyber security at the global level. Uh, there is also the African Union Convention on Cyber Security and Personal Data Protection, also known as the Malabo Convention adopted in 2014, which highlights a need to promote cyber security, enhance cooperation among African countries, and establish legal frameworks to combat cyber crime. Uh, furthermore, the African Union has established the African Union Commission Cyber Security and Digital Identity Management Program. This program focuses on building the capacity of African countries in cyber security, promoting regional cooperation, as well as developing policies and strategies to address cyber uh, threats. Both the UN and the African Union recognize that cyber crime is, global, is a global challenge that requires international cooperation and collaboration. It's therefore uh, of paramount importance for countries to align their national strategies with these resolutions and work together to create a safer digital environment for individuals, businesses, and governments. This center will not only help in investigating and combating cybercrime, 
but also in building the capacity of uh, law enforcement agencies and other stakeholders to effectively respond to cyber and, uh, uh, crimes and cyber-related cyber threats in our region. At this point in time, I therefore take this opportunity to declare uh, a closed the first workshop of the EAPCO Heads of Cybercrime Units carried out in the center with the theme Standardize EAPCO Cybercrime Policing. Allow me to also stress that today's inauguration is a significant step towards creating a safer digital environment for the region and fostering international cooperation in fighting uh, cybercrime. Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is only the first step towards the right direction. We, however, do need to do more. I call upon Interpol, UNODC, IAPCO, and other like-minded partners to continue supporting the center in its, in its uh, operations, technical and analytical requirements, which will undoubtedly contribute to the center's uh, effectiveness. With these remarks, I now declare the Regional Cybercrime Center of Excellence officially open and do wish our esteemed guests a pleasant stay in Rwanda and safe journey back to your destinations uh, whenever you decide to do so. But uh, you are welcome to stay as long as you do wish. I do thank you all and uh, wish you a very good day.